Hi guys, because it's a crappy day outside, I thought it'd be a good day to stay in and do a product review and usage guide. Someone from Aomi Technologies, that's A-O-M-I-E, contacted me and told me they had a couple products they're trying to launch. They're free products. And it, would I do a product review and guide for one of their products? Well, uh, the one product that I was interested in is called the Data Backupper and it's free backup and restore software but the kicker is it has a built-in cloning function which interests me the software does incremental backups and that sort of thing as well but uh, the cloning parts what what i wanted i've used cloning software in the past and it's very good although it's all paid versions this is a free version so hey free is good right so we're going to take a look at the software and see if it cuts the mustard and if it does what it says it's supposed to do. Um, you know, if you have a problem with your hard drive and you've already made a clone of it, it's just within minutes that you can switch out the hard drive and, and uh, have your computer working again. So let's take this time and look at the Anomi Data Backupper Review and Test Guide. Let's go. Okay, here we're on the bench, and this is my test equipment that we're going to um, try out this Aomi Data Backup or cloning software. I've put together this Dell. It's a mini desktop. It has Windows 7 on it. It's an Intel chip in there, and uh, I think there's only about 80 gig hard drive running this Windows 7, 32-bit. Um, we've got the wireless keyboard and the mouse and the monitor. And then I brought over my little Frankenstein uh, portable hard drive that I can switch out hard drives in this case really quick. But you can use this software to burn disk as well as uh, thumb drives and that sort of thing. But uh, being as we're using the cloner, you want to go to a hard drive. So you could either pop the case on this computer and put another hard drive in line. Or you can do it through this USB method that we're using today. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is put this on a tripod so I can show you the screen. And we'll go to their website and start downloading the software. So hang tight. Okay. We're on our Windows machine here and we're ready to download the free Aomi Data Backup or software. I'm just going to open up my browser here. And here's their website. They have a couple products that they're offering. You can read more about them here. I'm just going to go to the download tab here at the top. And they're pointing me to uh, CNET to do the download. There's two different ones. They have a free backup uh, software and the data backupper, which is here. So we're going to go here. Now this works on Windows 7 and up. So if you have an XP or Vista, it's not going to work. Okay, so this is CNET's page, download.com. You could just go there too if you wanted. It's a fairly new piece of software. I see they added it on December 27th, so this is only about a month old, so it's, it's uh, pretty recent. So let's go ahead and start our download. I'm just going to save that. Okay, the download is now complete, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. Yes. Next. Accept their agreement. Next. 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 Install. And finish. Okay, we can close our web page now. I think we're installed here. So I'd put a uh, shortcut here on my desktop. Now, let's let's change the wallpaper on this computer so that uh, when we make our clone and we come back, we can see if it changed everything. It you know a clone should grab the operating system and, and all the program files, everything. But you know just for giggles, let's find some wallpaper for this machine here. Okay, so we have our custom background here for our Dell. And when we do the hardware 
the hard drive swap we'll be able to see if everything's back the way it should be so let's go ahead and, and uh, run our data back upper now I've looked through this um, before and there's a lot of different functions on here that you can do there's backups that you can do um, on a regular basis or you can do this cloning and like I said at the beginning of this video the one I was interested in is this clone you can look down through these other functions and use them as you see fit but we're gonna work on this clone today okay so we're gonna do an entire disk clone and the reason why I like to do a disk clone is it gets everything on the disk including any partitions if there's multiple partitions on this hard drive such as a backup operating system you'll get it too so that's the way you want to go is disk clone it's this simple um it's asking me which one is the source and i know it's the this 80 gigabyte hard drive one here labeled c so I'm going to select it. This is my backup that I've got ready to go plugged into the USB. So I'm going to hit next. And then the destination will be this one. Next. So we're actually going from an 80 gig hard drive to a 186 gigabyte hard drive. So you could also use this software to, you know, if you're running out of hard disk space, you could clone your hard drive on a bigger hard drive and then you'll have more space. I'm going to leave everything um, as defaulted and start the clone process. It is now 6.36 p.m. I'm going to note that time looks like it's moving along pretty good but I will be back as soon as something happens so stand by oh also um, there is this shut off function here when it's completed if you want it to shut down if you start it at night something like that okay I will be back as soon as something happens well it's only been a couple minutes but I just wanted to show you um, that it's progressing nicely I'm already at 54 percent so I don't believe that this bar is real accurate but it would be nice to think that this thing would finish up that fast you can see here on my hard drive it's really moving along so okay I just wanted to show you that it's uh, pretty snappy actually all right we will be back all right well it's done and this 80 gig hard drive it's 651 so it's it's only been uh, 15 minutes or so for this entire 80 gig clone so that's really good that is a good sign guys okay okay well it's done it's taken this 80 gig system hard drive in this Dell and converted it down it's 653 uh, 15 or 20 minutes so that's really good so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this right here and I'm assuming it's there let's go ahead and close this okay I open up my computer here and there's my C local which is the hard drive that I cloned and this is the the clone itself it's labeled F and I'm gonna double click it you can see there's all my Dell files there in my Windows folder so the only way to really know for sure if this has worked well in my opinion is to go ahead and swap the hard drive in it and see if it looks like it does right now so let's go ahead and do that let's uh, shut down the system And while I'm doing that, oh, you got to be kidding me. They hit me with updates. I was going to cut this part out of the video, but I figured since it happened and it annoys me so much, and it happens all the time, that uh, I would leave it in. Don't you hate it when you shut your machine down or restart, and this installation updates comes on. And you got like 49 of them 
and you're trying to do a video and yeah it's annoying anyway um I'm sure there's an option in there and I'm sure they asked me if I wanted to take that update but I think that needs to be toned back a little bit don't you all right I'm waiting for this machine to shut down and then we're going to take this hard drive and we're going to put it in this case and uh, actually even while this is running I think I can get the lid off the case use my time showing you something here so we'll just be careful and take this case off even though the computer is running so this is the hard drive here it's the 80 gig and I'm just gonna take it out I'm gonna pretend like okay we we did our backup we did our clone using this Aomi uh, data backup or software and let's pretend like this machine we came down in the morning and the hard drive started squealing or clicking it just died okay let's pretend like that happened I'm just waiting for this to shut down as you know but anyway so we're gonna pull out this hard drive and then we're gonna take the one from over here let's say we had this one on a shelf somewhere actually I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right now and pull out this hard drive that's the nice thing about these uh, portable hard drives if you leave the case off you can swap quickly especially for your shop now what I would normally do is take this hard drive and I would label it as a backup it's a 200 gig and it would just sit on a shelf waiting for this machine to die and if this machine doesn't die that's good <laughs> um, and every so often this hard drive should probably be uh, you know updated and it depends on how much you use this computer that you'd keep it updated okay so we're still waiting on updates I've showed you as much as I can right now we'll put that in as soon as this finishes rolling on five so I'll find something else to do I'll be back well I'm still waiting on this thing to update the Windows installation and to be honest with you this Windows installation that I got started here by not paying attention is actually taking longer than it took to clone that whole drive so maybe in Windows 9 or whatever their next installation is they would consider putting a pause button or a cancel button on this update thing I realize it might mean rewriting tons of code but uh, yeah you guys really need a a uh, cancel button because I know if I turn this machine off by unplugging it all I'm going to do is probably screw up my operating system so hey just an idea still waiting as soon as this thing shuts down I'll be back okay the final <laughs> let's start again okay finally the machine shut down after all those crazy updates and <clears throat> like I said earlier I'm gonna go ahead and pull this hard drive out and put in this hard drive that we made the clone of so let's go ahead and uh, swap that out now first thing you want to do for you mess with the insides is take out the power plug <clears throat> This setup is pretty nice, the way Dell has designed this case. It's that simple to pull out your hard drive. And then you have to take the hard drive out of this caddy. It's just a piece of plastic that holds it in. Like that. So this is the hard drive that we're saying went bad just to test let me grab our black one here that we made the clone let me just fix 
down in here. That. And the cables back up here. There's two little snaps on here in the front. Okay, very good. Let's plug it back in. Got our new cloned hard drive in. Here's the bad one that we're saying is bad. Let's see what kind of issues we have. Tripod right here. Okay, plug back in. Fire in the hall. So far, so good, huh? And what you could actually do, you know, is just keep two hard drives going and rotate. Make a clone. There be your runner. And then when you're ready to update this, just switch out for that. And you'll always have a fresh one on the shelf. So there, if there was a computer that was pretty important to you that... He had all the settings and operating systems ready to go. This would be a way to do it. So there's our fiery background. There's an Adobe Flash Player update popped. But uh, in a quick glance, this looks successful. Let me just uh, cancel these updates. So we can take a look at it. Let's go to our device manager. That'll tell. <clears throat> yeah, I still got this cold, by the way. Well, this computer's healthy. And, you know, without testing it really thoroughly, I would say that this clone was completely successful. So that was the device manager, and everything else looks exactly the same. There's our install of the AOMEI data backupper. <laughs> that even copied over, and then our, our changed wallpaper. So this is a success. I mean, I think that this software um, works very well and it's free so it's well worth taking a look at this software okay let's go out for some final thoughts on this okay guys that's it for this one that was the review and usage guide for the AOM EI Anomi data backupper the free tool that allows you to back up and restore hard drives and I only covered the cloning function today there's many other functions that this software does and perhaps we'll revisit some of those other uh, functions in the future I'll see you guys later have a great day hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya